Hey fur friends and welcome to our channel. So you probably clicked this video because you're either looking into dog diapers or maybe your dog specifically needs a dog diaper. Well, if that's the case, then this is a video for you because in today's video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about dog diapers. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna go through the common reasons that you might need a diaper for your dog. So one of the first ones is if your dog is in heat. So when a dog goes into heat, they bleed and to save it from going all over your house, all over your furniture, carpet, everything, a diaper is a great uh, solution to that problem. Another one is if you have an elderly dog that's you know having a harder time controlling their bowels or urinating in the house, a diaper is a great option to help with that to make it easier on you and your dog. Um, another option could be that you have a younger dog that gets super excited when someone comes to the house so they dribble a bit. So a diaper is a great option to kind of help with that. Um, another thing is say you adopt a rescue dog and they're having a lot of behavioral issues and you know you, you're really having a hard time controlling the peeing in the house. Um, a diaper is also a option that you can use. I do want to point out though that a diaper should never be used as a training tool or say you're going out for the day and you don't have anyone to let your dog out and you're like oh I'll just throw a diaper on them. No, that's that's a big no-no. A diaper should never be used as a training tool. It is mainly used for all the reasons that I said before, just to help your dog and to make it easier on your dog. And the last option is say that your dog's irritated around their urinary um, area, you know, they could have nicked it or, you know, something happened and they're licking it a lot. A diaper is also another option that you can use to kind of prevent them from being able to access it to lick it. So that one would be a short term use that, you know, kind of just helps in, in preventing them from making the issue any worse. All right, so now I'm gonna go through the three main types of diapers that are available to you. You can either make them yourself, get them online, or get them in a pet store. And after I go through each one, my mom, Tracy, who you've seen in a bunch of other videos, is going to actually do a demo with our dog, Ava, going through each of them on Ava. So the first one is a DIY diaper. So we just got this little boy's underwear at the dollar store and you actually can just put the tail through the pee hole and then adjust it onto your dog and you can even just get like a clip to clip it on because you know it's not going to be perfect size. So that is one option. This is great if you just need something short term or in a pinch and you're not going to be using it for a very long time. This is a great inexpensive option. The next one is a reusable diaper. So these are great. You can just put it on. There's the um, hole for the tail and you can adjust it whatever size fits best around your dog's waist. And then you, another option you can do to make these last even longer without having to wash them is you can get like pads uh, from the dollar store. We just got this one and you can actually just put it right in there. Um, you can take that part off and either cut it off or put it around the sides and then they'll either bleed onto this or pee onto this so it'll make it so that you can use it a few more times before actually having to throw it in the wash because then you can just take this part off, the diaper is still in perfect condition, and then you can just put a new one on. So these are a, this one's a great option. They come in a variety of sizes depending on the size of your dog and they're pretty inexpensive. I think you can get packs of three on Amazon for like $30 or you can buy them individual as well, whatever you're looking for. So these are definitely a great option and they do actually have a reusable male, they call it like a male wrap. So I can put a picture of it right here of what it looks like, but it basically has the Velcro like this and here and it just goes around the dogs. Uh, it's only for peeing though. So it's for a male peeing or spraying in the house. So you would just put it around their belly area and it kind of just stops them from being able to pee. And the last one is just a single use diaper, just looks exactly like a baby diaper. It has the hole for the tail and this one, you know, you just do the same thing as the uh, reusable one is you just adjust this, it sticks on there to whatever size best fits your dog. These also do come in a variety of sizes and they usually you can get them in a pack of like a few depending on the size that you get. So these are definitely not going to be as um, economically friendly as the reusable ones, but it all depends on what you're looking for, what you need it for, and what suits best for your lifestyle. So now we're gonna move into the demo where we're gonna go through each one in detail on our dog, Ava. So let's jump into it. Okay, so this is Ava. I'm gonna show each diaper and how it fits on the dog. 
So this is the DIY diaper, and what it is is just a little boy's underwear, pair of underwear, and as you can see, the little pee hole has Ava's tail through it, and then this section is covering her little crotch area, and if you find that it's too big in the back, you can just either, you could take a, um, what are those things called, those pin things? Like a, a clip? Yeah, like one of those clip things. Bobby pin? I don't know, that you Safety use for laundry. Pin. A laundry pin? Oh. You could pin the, pin it there, or you could duct tape it. Or you could, if the, if the underwear is really large, you can just tie a knot in the back. So, and then what I would do with this one is I would put a mini pad or a pad inside of the diaper. Inside, inside the underwear. So I would take this pad and run it, run it inside the underwear right across there and then that way it won't soak through. That's it. But you also, another key to these diapers is you have to remember when you let your dog out, because I've done this a million times, you have to take the diaper off because you let them out and then they pee in the diaper and then you're like, oh God, I know I have to wash it. So anyway, so that's number one. The next one is the reusable diapers, which is right here. It's got the hole for the uh, for the tail. This looks like really, when you think about it, it's very similar to a boy's little underpants, but it's got the hole for the tail. So, and what I would do with this, you don't have to, but it just saves a lot of laundry. Again, I would use the pad, take the pad, um, if I knew how to use them. You should at your age. <laughs> at my age, I don't pee my pants yet. So you put the pad in and then put the... You can also cut the pad too. Yeah, you can cut it. I'm just keeping it full size there. But it, I would use a high absorbent pad because they can um, leak right through it. And then this one's great because it's Velcro so you can adjust the size to whatever you need. But they do come in all different sizes, small, medium, large, depending on what breed of dog you have. So there you go. So that's nice and snug. And obviously you can tell that this one is much more user friendly than the underwear. And then it's got lots of absorbency in there. And then again, you just have to remember to, t to take it off when you're letting your dog outside. Now there is a male version of this. So this is the female. You could still use, well, you'd have to get a much larger one because obviously the males, because the males unit is halfway up here, that has to be covered. So there's a male version that actually wraps around their their little private part and um, you just have to, it's the exact same type of thing you take it on and off but it's isolated to that area okay and the third and last diaper is the actual disposable diaper and again this is very similar to the um, reusable one put the tail in the hole wrap the diaper under this one's got it's just exactly like a human baby diaper. It's got the Velcro and then you can adjust the size and and tightness around their bellies and there you go. Now this one's too big for her. It's a little bit large but I mean it's fine as long as it's not going to slip off of her. It's got it's got enough coverage here that nothing's going to leak out and again remember to take it off when you um, when you put her out put them outside. But they're all very user friendly and they're quick on and off. Okay, so I hope that you guys found that informative and was very helpful in determining which diaper would work best for you guys. If you've ever tried to make your own DIY diaper with something else besides um, underwear, I would love to hear in the comments below what you've used and how it's worked. And if you have any other questions about dog diapers, please leave them in the comments. We're happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and we'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.